All right, and now it's time for Dodgers discussion. Um, we're going to talk about good old Magic Johnson. Yes. Buying the Dodgers. Yes. The Frank McCourt era officially dead. No longer. Cut off its head. Ah, it's like finally. Drink, it's like drinking a cold glass of water when it's a hundred degrees outside. No, it's like drinking a Coca Cola on a <laughs> hot summer day. What a beautiful day! Oh man! Oh wow! I was so happy and was crying when I found out the Dodgers were finally sold to, I believe, our hope, our competent owners that know what they're doing with the team uh, and fran- to Magic too. A so. franchise that was truly held hostage. <laughs> By the evil troll known as Frank McCourt. Yeah. Um, yeah, and Jamie McCourt doesn't get enough flack, but here, here it is. All the hate to Jamie McCourt right now. But um, boom, there it is. Um, so yeah, so let's start with the very basics. What can we expect from Magic owning the Los Angeles Dodgers? We're gonna win championships, baby. <laughs> Everything Magic touches turns to gold. Look at Starbucks. Every, I mean, no, sorry. <laughs> no, no. no, but I think we got to, like, I guess, lower, not lower expectations, but be reasonable what we want this team to be, especially this season. I don't think they're going to go crazy and start making trades and stuff like that during this season. I think this season they're going to let it play out, see what they have, and then make their moves come off season because finally the Dodgers are going to have money to spend. Look, look at that. Yeah, so don't expect them to do... Too many things this 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 season during the trade deadline. They might make a little bit of tweaks here and there, but they're gonna be smart about things. See what the team is, and then make moves from there. Yeah, I mean, I would be hard pressed to think that the Dodgers could even make the playoffs this year. Yeah. I think that's maybe out of the realm of possibility. But going forward, it does feel good to have a team that has money. Yes, I mean, it does. Come on. I mean, but how much money did they have left? Though I mean, they bought, they spent two they billion. They spent two billion dollars. Yeah, they a... did, so they're gonna have to defer some contracts <laughs> more or something. I don't know, but you know, I feel fairly confident they have the right baseball minds there to field a confident team. Um, this is a team that, for the sake of uh, you know, use trading for players like Juan Rivera has and uh, has uh, traded has traded away the youth the youth on this team. All these deferred contracts have hurt the Dodgers' future. Um, but yeah, now that the Dodgers have an opportunity to start fresh, I really do hope that they take a good look at rebuilding this team, keeping perhaps Kemp and Kershaw, and Kershaw there, and, for, that's it. and then that's it. Let, just letting everybody go. And starting to build a team from the ground up. You know, this is Los Angeles, a fairly large market. Uh, I would say so. You know, you're gonna have people that are gonna want to play here, even though nobody's <laughs> played here, but for, um, a while. for a while. But you know, under new ownership and perhaps more optimistic um, outlooks for the future, you know, we might be able to have a, a semi-decent team here in the future, yeah. outside of the Angels. Of course. <laughs> no, come on. No, but I think the most important thing is uh, is that Magic. Is here, and I know everybody on Facebook wrote that Magic, Magic doesn't own the team. He's probably a very small portion of the team, but it's not so much his money that's going to be a big factor in this whole Dodger organization, but mostly him himself. His name carries a lot of weight in Los Angeles and in the sports world itself. So I think, like you said, come the off season, he's in the twelve oh twelve oh one. He's going to be at somebody's door. He's going to be on. He's going to call somebody, and I think he's going to carry a lot more weight when you have Magic Johnson. Coming over to your house, telling you why you should come play for the Dodgers, or having them on the phone, telling you come play for the Dodgers. I think that is why um, this group um, wanted Magic on on their side because they knew Magic was a great public relations person for the community, but also a person where players who players respect Magic and like Magic. So I think he's gonna be a great, a, a good factor in who we get in during the offseason because Magic is gonna be the one. Making all the calls, telling people to come to our team. So that's why I'm excited for Magic to be part of this Dodger organization or, or ownership because he's going to make it happen where people are going to come because of him. And, and nobody's saying Magic should be the GM. You know, no. we all remember Magic going on ABC, you know, doing his <laughs> NBA commentary and saying the Lakers should blow up the team. Like, literally, the first opportunity he had after they lost yeah. or got swept in the finals. But yeah, like, like, like Isaac said, you know, he brings a certain. Name recognition, uh, a confident. He's a confident figure. Um, 
He's someone you can put your confidence in, excuse me. Um, as far as fielding a team is concerned, it's a much better upgrade than someone like Frank McCoy. You didn't even know had if he had money to pay his players, you yeah. know, months on a month <laughs> basis, right? Boy, those are some. Oh, uh, it just hurts thinking about, you know, looking back on that. But that's uh, interesting. you know, and and another interesting thing to to kind of know about this whole tra- magic transaction, right? Is that Frank McCourt came out a big winner? You know, he bought the team on the cheap from Fox. Yeah. And ended up coming out with all the jewels, man. He doesn't have to worry about divorce <laughs> any longer because he has enough money there. Of course, half goes to Jamie, but you know, yeah. he has money to live on a month to month basis. Yeah, money to I mean, live. You got to give that guy credit. I mean, he did ruin our team, but boy, he he he's a big one in this whole thing, though. I mean, the team went for two billion dollars, the most any franchise, franchise. ever gone for. I mean, the, the next time his bid was like one point three billion. So I mean, he got the other. He got Magic's group to go seven hundred more than the mm-hmm. other team was. The other group was willing to go. So I mean, you had to give hats off to McCourt. I mean, he ruined our team, but he made a profit doing it though. <laughs> and he kept but, the parking lots. Too. Yeah. So, but 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 not not all. He doesn't have a majority stake. Yeah, but he's not gonna get any revenue from the from the from the parking lot uh, for Dodger game. So don't worry about that. But I mean, that's American dream. You you, the you get a, dream. I mean, you get a fancy like the Dodgers. You you know you you run into the ground and you still make a profit. Oh, um, that's man. everybody's dream to have is make horrible decisions and still come off a winner. Yeah, so hats out to McCourt for that. He can never walk into Los Angeles again. No. And I know you know L. A. has. A notoriety for forgiving people for doing very bad things. Oh, <laughs> Kobe Bryant. And uh, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I don't think this is something that Frank McCourt uh, can no. just shove under you know at the table, so to speak. You know, he can never be taken seriously in this town again, and that is saying a lot because Los Angeles takes a lot of people that it shouldn't take <laughs> seriously, seriously. Yeah. So it's gonna be fun though this season. People actually go. Are actually gonna go to Dodger games now. It's gonna be fun. Uh, no, I don't. I don't. I don't, don't like go that, that far. No, no, I really don't oh, go that right. far. This team is gonna be bad. And uh, even though I do think that a good portion of fans didn't go to Dodger games last year because Frank McCourt owned the team and this was their sort of silent boycott, so to speak. This team is still not that good, and uh, yeah. you know, I, but they're the not gonna be selling out arenas anytime. But soon. the Dodgers haven't really won anything in a, for a while, so it's not like we've always had great teams that people wanted to go watch. So I think people just like to go to the games because it's a good place to go take your family out to watch a game or, or whatever reason you want to be. So I think people are gonna are gonna want to come. The only bad thing is that ticket prices might go up, so that's yeah. not good for us. And they're going to have to. They're going to have yeah, to. Yeah, that's not going to be, that's not good for us, though. Uh, but, you know, the I think the the vibe of that team or the atmosphere of the Dodger games is, is going to come back. And Isaac, Isaac said quite rightly that the team hasn't won much of anything in the past couple of years. This is their biggest victory. This has been their <laughs> biggest victory since, since Manny Wood. Since Manny Wood. And since Manny Wood still existed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not but, Manny Wood version 2 in Oakland, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is their biggest victory, and that's yeah. saying something. Yeah, but it's going to be fun. I think fans are going to come back, especially with Magic being there. It's, it's going to be fun. And we're not going to win a ton of games, but it's going to be a fun season. With, with the, not with the expectations that, you know, it's going to get better. It's not, we're not going to hope we know it's going to get better because we have owners that are going to be willing to spend money. And the whole purpose of buying the Dodgers was to win. I'll tell you what, I'll be there, and he'll he'll probably I'll be, be there I'll too. I will be there. You guys can say hi to us while we're yeah. there. Yeah, so. unfortunately, so will Juan Uribe <laughs> and and Juan Rivera <laughs> oh, be there man. too. So yeah, the, the one thing <laughs> I remember after after the deal was done with and Magic was proclaimed winner of the Dodgers, the first thing I <laughs> Facebooked Isaac was. He still has to pay Juan Uribe, and that's a sobering, sobering yeah, idea. Yeah, but somehow it's a lot better than all Magic's paying on this. It's true. You never know, he might be hitting 300 this year. Yeah, uh, right. Maybe not, but still. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So our team has a lot of holes, but, you know, you guys that have waited out this one year, be patient, Dodgers fans. Be patient. Be patient. You know? it, it'll take a number of years, in my, at least in my opinion. I don't know about number. It's going to take, I don't know how many years, but it's going to take time. But we got to be patient, though. True. So you just don't go overboard expecting us to win the whole thing this year. Watch the Angels. Which I wouldn't mind. 
Don't watch the Angels. Come don't on. The no, angels. don't jump yeah. the ship. We're a Dodger I, I'm fan. not jumping the ship. I'm just don't saying. Don't tell our fans to jump the ship either. Then. We no, live, we're we a Dodger fan. Away. We're not Angel fans. We're never going to root for the Angels, even they if they're in the Los championship Angeles game. Los Angeles in front of their name. But they're not even in Los They're in Anaheim. Oh, come on. No, we're not going to. People, don't people like us the, no. can't drive over there. But no, don't boo, don't root for the Angels. Oh, okay. No. All I'm we're saying never, is that they If you start rooting for the Angels, we're done. We're not doing this podcast they have. They have an option. They could choose to. No, you know. no I'm sure many have already taken up on that offer. No, Dodgers. Who holds sign with that team? Vince I'm sure Scully, many Dodgers fans. Vince Scully. In a year that has been improbable, the impossible has happened, no, and no. Magic is our new owner. Don't watch the Angels. Come yeah. Out. But you know what's impossible? Them winning games. And no, that's not impossible. Yeah, like, had Chris and on. So every game. fifth day, the Dodgers <laughs> win a game. So, you know, you, you look at that Dodger fan. And, and you it, have the truly, Cy Young Award winner on your it team. It truly will be the only only every five days. Because if you have Chad Billingsley out there pitching <laughs> or, or Ted Come on, Lillie Chad. or whoever it is. Come on, Chad. Get past the fifth inning with more th- with less than 120 pitches. Come on. Go. And James Lowney, stay out of... Uh, Cars when you're drunk, please. Come on, James Lowney. You gotta hit at least 20 home runs for me one time. <laughs> James Lowney, 20 home runs. Come Get on. Here. Come on, James Lowney. I believe in you. Don't, Lowney, let me, I don't want to give up on James Lowney. If James Lowney hits above 280 this year, I will be a happy man. And that's uh, saying something. Yeah. Twice. <laughs> um, Isaac, do you have any predictions for for, us, for Major League Baseball? I mean, the opening uh, day is Opening here. day is here. The Marlins. The Miami Marlins, people. Remember, it's gonna be. I think that seems to be fun to watch with Ozzy Guillen being the manager. Uh, their stadium was really crazy. They have an aquarium behind the plate. <laughs> people, hit, if people hit home runs, they're gonna have a laser show. I think. In the <laughs> so I mean, that's, a, that's gonna be fun to watch with the Jose Reyes and uh, you have Hanny Ramirez um, on that team. So Miami, no, I'll kid aside. Miami does have a pretty good team, have a talented team, and that's the friends that's had that 